brought to you by TELUS. Hi, I'm Mike Agarbo. And I'm Mariam Murtosh. And welcome to App TV. As you know from watching this show, there are apps for everything and they're more and more constantly being created. Some are just plain fun, while others can be quite useful for everyday life. And those more serious apps are what this show's all about. We all want to lead a happier, healthier life, and we're going to have a look at apps that can help you do just that. Health is a concern for everyone. Well, maybe not Mike. From balanced diets and calorie counting to exercise and more, let's start this health kickoff with a look at the Sleep Cycle Alarm Clock app. Well, it's essentially the next level in the evolution of the alarm clock. What you want to do is just place your phone under your pillow at night and the Sleep Cycle app will track your movement while you sleep. That's really cool. It is. It keeps track of your different sleep phases during the night, ranging from deep to light. The app will gently wake you up during a 30-minute window that ends at the time your alarm is set for and wakes you up in your lightest sleep phase. Love it. Sleep Cycle stores your sleep information and shows you a graph that details the stats on your nightly sleep patterns. So you won't be pulled out of a deep, heavy sleep, which I hate, and you'll feel more refreshed and ready to go in the morning. Now you can just enjoy that morning cup of coffee instead of needing it to truly wake yourself up. It's time to move from bedtime to lunchtime, and here are a few apps that count calories and track diets. Let's have a look. Taking care of yourself involves not only exercise and being active, but a sensible diet as well. It's not something anyone looks forward to. After all, what's fun about lettuce? Well, we can't promise you these apps will make your vegetables taste better, but they should encourage you to add greens back into your diet. Starting things off, we have the Diet and Food Tracker, which, no surprise here, tracks what you eat. Like most diet apps, you start off by entering your height, current weight, and age. Then you enter your target weight, accompanied by how much you'd like to lose. The app will then set a recommended daily calorie intake and a meal plan to help you get there. The main screen even shows a report of all the calories you've eaten and burned on the current day. But it's not just about eating. This app does have a few more bells and whistles. Reports will do a quick calorie number crunch to show you what you've accomplished that day and the fitness settings let you keep track of all the exercise you're getting as well as offering suggestions and workout regimes. And finally, we come to Meal Snap. This app is almost magical as it makes calorie counting as simple as point and click. No charts, no math, no graphs. All you need is your camera. Confused? You'll be amazed when you see this. Just point the camera at your plate, snap a photo, and the app does the rest. Not only will it tell you what you're eating and how many calories are in it, but its sleek interface catalogs your meals over time and lets you examine your dietary history. Meal Snap gives you an estimate based on your photo, so keep that in mind when using it. But for a quick reference and an adequate assessment on the go, this app is simple and easy to use. Now, you'll have to use these apps honestly and regularly to see the weight loss benefits and get an accurate picture of your eating habits. Though, I've been personally known to forget the existence of these apps during the Stanley Cup playoffs, Halloween, birthday parties, Christmas dinner, the Super Bowl, the first day of school, Well, today we're going to focus on health and health apps. We're down at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. Here with me from TELUS is Sebastian Prevost. Thanks for coming on the show. Uh, thank you for having me. Well, I wanted you guys to come on the show because you guys are very uh, active in the whole healthcare uh, sector and, and even creating apps as well. What is TELUS doing in healthcare? So we're really uh, involved in the full continuum of care from acute to primary to home and now to consumer. For instance, uh, some folks don't know about it. Uh, Instead of leaving somebody in a hospital for one week, we can actually discharge them after two days. And with a remote patient monitoring solution, that person is being monitored in the comfort of their own home without having to stay in the hospital and incrementing those thousands and thousands of dollars of costs uh, in the system. So we're, we're really glad about that. And now the, the last child being born is a consumer play. Well, let's start off with uh, apps. And the first one I want to talk about is Bant. We are working on this application that allows diabetic type 1 to pretty much monitoring the disease in a fun way, leveraging the technology of mobile phones. So it works on the iOS, so the iPhone and the iPod. So basically how it works, it's fairly simple. So they're taking the life scan glucometer, taking a reading via Bluetooth from their phone, being sent to your HealthSpace account. 
which is uh, pretty much a safe database where all the information is stored and there's a bunch of reminders, uh, social network aspect of it, incentive rewards. So really making managing a chronic disease a bit more fun for those teenagers. So I know you also have developed a, a web-based game for juvenile diabetes as well called uh, MedPals. Can you tell us about it? We created MedPals where basically a child has to follow a schedule, nutrition, the snacks, the glucometer reading but bring it further where they imported all the information into the game that gives them the energy then to play the game. So we have a four to eight years old version. We develop a nine to 12 and we'll have a teenager version being tested in the fall uh, in the hospital. And we're getting amazing feedback right now from families on that front. Tell me about uh, the social networking platform that you guys have developed as well called Upopolis. It all started with an idea. So how could we make sure that those children that are being sent to hospitals can stay connected with their support groups? And we create this private social network, allowing them to be connected to other children in the hospital in a similar situation. It's all controlled environment, very safe. Uh, they can get their school work from there. And basically, we're getting, every day we're getting letters and emails of parents or children saying that thing really made a difference in their experience in the hospital. So we're really happy about that. We have seven hospitals in Canada right now. We're going to be adding a few others this year. And hopefully, we're going to keep growing because this is such a great program. And this is uh, all for free. So this is uh, something that we're giving to the community because we believe we can leverage our technology to make a difference. And it's great that we're here today at the Sick Kids Hospital. It's one of our partners with St. Elizabeth and UHM, Kids HealthLink Foundation. It's a strong partners of ours in there, as well as the hospitals themselves. So this is really a, a team thing. So what's the future? What, what else are you guys working on? The list is so long. So right now, I believe I have 19 or 20 projects wow. being worked on. Some mobile application, for instance, to help uh, manage, uh, better manage asthma. Uh, to other, other chronic disease like cancer, for instance. If you want to have more information about what TELUS is doing and help, you can visit uh, teluschealthspace.com. There's an area there where people can post their comment because it's your healthcare system, so we want people to say what they want, they want to shape it, we just want to be part of the transformation. Very cool, thanks again for coming on the show. Well, thanks for having me, it's great. Sebastian Prevost from TELUS talking about all the great uh, healthcare solutions uh, and apps uh, they are developing. Have you got a burning desire to hit the bike trails to claim your title of Weekend Warrior? We've got a look at the Live Rider app and a whole lot more when App TV continues. The world is a dangerous place, but luckily there are apps that can act like a, a virtual life jacket for you. These apps can do everything from giving you survival tips to keeping you informed of impending disasters. Here are our hot five apps to save your life. To start things off, let's look at the Global Alert Network. This app sends geo-targeted weather alerts and traffic information right to your phone. No longer will you have to wait for the radio to let you know what's happening. Find out everything about tornado and flood warnings to traffic problems and even traffic problems caused by tornado and flood warnings. Moving along, we have BuddyGuard VIP. This could be considered a human being's black box. This app stores images, sound, and GPS location all on a secure server. Even if the phone gets lost or damaged, your info is still safe and accessible. The app requires an account on buddyguard.org to work, but it's ideal for those concerned with personal safety. Next, we have phone aid. Have you ever wondered what you might do if a friend were choking or even had a heart attack? Well, phone aid can help by showing you what to do in a very clear and concise slideshow format, guiding you through common situations like cardiac arrest, choking, and how to deal with drowning. Next, we have Britain's Special Air Service, or the SAS Survival Guide. This is the app you want for those intense or hardcore survival situations. It provides 16 different videos that offer survival tips, as well as a photo gallery of edible, medicinal, and poisonous plants. If that's not enough, there are sections that deal with extreme climate survival for those times you may find yourself doing a little sightseeing in Antarctica. And last, we have Universal Doctor Speaker. Are you concerned about being in a foreign country and finding yourself in a medical situation where healthcare workers will not understand you? Then you probably shouldn't travel without this app. It'll translate information to your desired language and facilitate communication on a basic level between you and medical staff on a variety of illnesses, symptoms, and questions regarding treatment. In this technology-driven world, you may not be surprised to learn that some people have a hard time relaxing. But with technology, and specifically with apps, we found a few ways to help you relax. Ironic, isn't it? And no, I'm not talking about that hit song from the 90s. Anyway, our first app is Authentic Yoga with Deepak Chopra and Tara Styles. Searching for inner peace? Well, 
Deepak's your man. Many videos are featured starring Deepak himself explaining the spiritual practice of yoga and how it fits into the lifestyle of mindfulness and higher consciousness. This app introduces you to yoga poses from a basic level to more specialized approaches like focusing on a particular area of the body or for de-stressing. Selecting one group of poses offers you a series of stills that illustrates each pose as Deepak narrates. You can also tap on the film reel icon and watch a short video of Tara illustrating the pose more thoroughly accompanied by Deepak's narration. Once you're familiar with the techniques, you can move on to routines, where you can do full sequences to build flexibility, strength, or both. The app offers not only the understanding of the physical work involved in yoga, but also the mental aspects, all designed to help you achieve a deeper level of relaxation. This app is fantastic for people who want to do yoga at home or don't have time to get to classes. With the celebrity brain of Deepak and Tara's stylistic brawn, you really can't go wrong. And deep breath and exhale.